understand. Oh, when? Look. Oh my God, that is Sir Jones. <laughs> I better get that woman on the plate. Live from the fabulous El Capitan Theater in the heart of Hollywood. It's Wednesday, February 9th, and the view is celebrating L.A. Coming up, the Desperate Housewives are helping us celebrate all week long. And today, our special guest co-host is Marsha Cross. Plus, without a tree star, Anthony LaPaglia. Then, L.A. has plenty of real-life Desperate Housewives. So we're glamming up three viewers from head to toe with a Desperate Housewives makeover. And Bernie Mac. All that and the hot topics you want to hear as The View celebrates L.A. That's not something we applaud. Hello and welcome to The View from Hollywood, California. Yeah. So, on Desperate Housewives, Bree seems to have everything under control because her house is spotless. I hate you. Her house is spotless, she's spotless, but underneath it all, her life is a mess. Please welcome the actress who plays Bree to perfection, Marsha Cross. Yeah. Are you like that? Is your hair perfect in real life in no, your house? I am so messy. I was just tripping over things getting out of the house today. I'm, I'm lucky I made it out the door. Oh, that's, that's a real thing. Like yeah. Oh, oh my God, I'm like nothing that. like her. What? In fact, the other girls are so neat. I went into Felicity's trailer yesterday, and it was just all decorated and perfect. And I'm, I went into mine, and it was just trash. And I was like, oh, i got to get this together. No, you must have a hard no. time, then, when you have to be perfect all the time. Oh, it's so exhausting. Yeah, yeah. And my hair, and I'm just like, my clothes and the high heels, and I wear so stockings and the girls make fun of me because I have pantyhose on and but I have to you know yeah, what I mean yeah, it's yeah. like the I whole thing like that I, there are two people here who really know whether you're a slob or not and they are sitting in our audience your mother and father right <laughs> yay welcome <laughs> You have a lovely daughter even if she is Impossible. <laughs> and a little messy. And a, and, a little messy. and a little messy. You know, when you get to be a big star, and you are a big star, then there begin to be the rumors. And there is a, a big rumor about you, which is that you are gay. And I'm happy. <laughs> but seriously, What's there the is that rumor. Being happy. I'm pretty happy. But there is that. <laughs> It, it wasn't exactly meaning that you're happy. Right. And your publicist actually had to send out a release. Tell us what that's all about. Well, it was very odd. And I just, I, I assume this is what comes of being 42 and single. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if they <laughs> just needed to find a reason why I wasn't married or, I mean, I'm, I'm not. And um, I can fix you up. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can. <laughs> so you're not a lesbian. I'm not. So is tonight is off then between us? <laughs> Joy? I can come around, honey. <laughs> you could be convinced, right? Yeah, I did think, think it was really okay. weird, though, that there was all this curiosity about something like that, about sexuality. And I thought, what a world we live in, that that's so and important. how does it arise? And where does it come yeah. from? On the so, Internet. Things will come up on the Internet. Next thing you know, you had a black baby with an Indian man. <laughs> I'd love to have a black baby with an Indian, Indian man. man. I think it's <laughs> I'm telling you, you never know that. That was Barbara. I'm sorry. Yes, I yes, yes, I'll introduce you to the, my, my grown child any minute. But you know, there is one thing that, that uh, is happening, and, and it's happening on Desperate Housewives. I don't assume that it happens in your private life. And that is that your husband, mm -hmm. you're back with your husband now, and it turns out that what really turns him on is the kinky sex. Yeah. Not handcuffs, yeah. the whole business. 
Yeah? Yeah. And, he, and what he wants you to do is to share his sexual fantasies. Mm -hmm. So in real life, do you think that men are afraid to share their mm -hmm. sexual fantasies? I don't know. Dad? <laughs> Just kidding! <laughs> I'm having a little trouble hearing what you're saying. Uh, Just good. as Better well. Right. Just Better as well. well. You missed nothing, nothing. Dad. <laughs> nothing. Okay, so let me ask you all. If you found out that your boyfriend or your husband wanted kinky sex and, and he says it'll make the marriage better, would you do it? Well, I would just rather not find out in the moment. I'd rather know ahead of time, like have a meeting about it so I could be fully <laughs> I want to be prepared. I want to have a list of things that I should expect <laughs> and know what to bring and what to wear. You want to bring it? You don't want to wear that scarf. Right. That you wear okay. today. Yeah. <laughs> so that means, yes, you would do it if you had a whole list of what he wanted. Honestly, Barbara, my only fantasy right now is to have some, you know, intimacy without a person in between us. So I can have some comfort, well, okay? You're newly married. Yeah. Al comes and says, listen, honey. But if, you know, as long as it's not painful, I could probably roll with it. <laughs> Yeah, you know. What about you, Barbara? What about you? Yeah, what about you? I'm not living with anybody. No, you are. Well, my own fantasy is not to have to fake it again, you know what I mean? But um, as far as they're concerned, I don't know. I don't, I'm not interested, frankly. What do you mean you're not interested? I'm not interested. They can tell it to me, but that doesn't mean it ain't going to happen. You know, it's like... <laughs> So it has to be a good proposal. Right. Yeah, you're not going to dress okay. like a French maid or anything like that. Well, you know, that. I would do that. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, okay, you're doing it on camera. Would you do it off camera? Wow. Um, Aren't you glad you're doing it? My stuff. parents are in the front row. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'll let you off I'm a virgin. It's very 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 When you get married, you'll try all of yes, these Yes, I will be a very, very happy wife. That's yeah. place when you said that, your dad said, yes, she is. Yeah. <laughs> Was there any other character you wanted to be instead of this? Actually, I, I walked in and I wanted to be um, Mary Alice. <laughs> the dead one? The dead one. I thought I wouldn't have to wear makeup. I, wouldn't have to, I could just sort of be messy and I would be off camera and I could well, have a great life and they wouldn't talk about me maybe being a lesbian. You can be <laughs> yeah. as, as messy as you want on the show. We will be right back with more Messy Hot Topics. You got it. The Desperate Housewives are helping the views celebrate L.A. all week long. Tomorrow. Nicolette Sheridan is our guest co-host. And Friday, it's Eva Longoria's turn.